Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 9 of this low-rise apartment building. Let's get started. So in the last video, we, we increased the size of our building from, um, I believe we have it at 5 stories. Now it's 9 to 10 stories building. Uh, so the reason for that is so that we could increase the size um, and then the design of the building. It's still a low-rise uh, condo apartment. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this one as well. So now let's go to, I believe this is second level. And we just need to edit this part right here. So delete. And then just edit the floors again. So edit the boundary. And then we just need to do it the same thing that we did. I'm just doing this now so that it's easier for us to trim it and extend. here start with trimming and then we could just delete it delete the remaining once we finish this and luckily we already have it above there I think the ninth floor and then it's easier for us to just uh, copy that extrusion it's just the cleaning up part before we add the side design there we go and then click finish on this don't attach and then let's go to south elevation and as you can see we have it right here this one we could just copy this so C O and then grab it right here remove the constraint and then we could just put it right here so same thing we just copy and the next thing we can do is to just add uh, the sides so here we just need to know how we're going to do it um, what I'm planning to do is to go right here going across so zigzag on this so we could start by adding the same thing and a wall extrusion we can even create this wall extrusion right here so here model in place and then generic model we want it to be the same material so it's a gypsum wallboard and then here we need to set it to this wall so pick a plane and then select this plane right here and then here we're going to add it Um, let's do 200 and then the same gypsum wallboard I forgot I think we forgot to add to lower this down on this side so it's easy so let's just edit the group and then here we just need to lower it so we need to go to north elevation And then here we just need to grab this, edit, and then 
we can do negative 200 and then click finish and then now if you see this it's looking good everything is aligned we have the connection right there but obviously it's we have a window right here so we need to edit that part um, I believe it's easier for us to see it onto the west side and let's not forget to increase this all the way up so that everything is showing properly so here we could edit extrusion and then just create an opening on those window and then once you're go uh, good let's pull this up as well so now we could just copy this so copy and then edit add it to every other floor there we go if we see it right now that's the look so it's like a zigzag on that side now we need to do it on this side so we need this extrusion on this side so we're going to do it on the 3d because it's easier to do that so let's do a model in place again and then generic model and then here extrusion set we're going to pick on this side now and we could just do this all the way right here and then we can automatically put this one right there and then click finish and as you can see everything is added properly so now we just need to skip a floor copy this make sure multiple is checked if you check once you don't need to check twice it will be uh, right there already so here we have a different one so that will be the top level so here that's the look of our building we can add one right here if we want to so we could actually visualize that much better copy grab it here and then place it right here and then we just need to edit the look and then here move all of this the reason that I'm using model in place because as you can see it's easier to manipulate and then there we go so we have here going up and all over there um, we just need to provide a glass so now i'm gonna uh, make the curtain wall to a glass uh, railing uh, for me it will look nicer to do that so what I'm gonna do now is also it will be uh, copied on every other floor 
the reason for that because each floor as you can see we have one side here but if we go to level 9 we have the other side so it's going to be a different one on each side so one side has the 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 wall to cover and then the other side doesn't have so we just need to be uh, calculated on how we place it um, and then here as you can see eight and then seven it's on the other side so on eight six four and then two we have it on this side level so we just need to add one on that side and then we could just copy it i think that's the best way to do it uh, in order for us not to waste any more time so i think i think that's better to do so let's do is um, wall and then curtain wall is already added i'm going to just add a curtain wall right here and then let's go and see it into our 3d and then we could just lower it so just lower it to the desired height maybe negative 2000 that's good to be consistent okay so we could have it on that side so let's go back here and then we could just copy it. C O. And then just move it all the way there. Copy. And then here we just need to clean up the corner. C O. Add it like that. There we go. And then let's mirror this. So I'm going to mirror it onto this side. So that's good. I'm going to grab all of them and then I'm going to copy it and paste it to the same. So I'm going to add it so copy to clipboard and paste it to selected levels I want it on six four and then two and then press ok and then for sure it's there so now we need to do it on the seventh so on the seventh we need to add this one as well okay so let's copy this And then copy it right here And 
and then mirror this as well. There we go. And then we need to copy and place it on the odd numbers. So copy it and then paste it to selected levels. So we have seven and then we have five, three, and then I think not on level one. Let's look at it at 3D to see how it looks. And everything is added there. So that's looking good. I'm happy with the way that looks now. So let's double check. Um, I'm going to make it fine. So everything is showing. And then here with realistic. So that's looking good. I like the way this one has been done. I just need this one to be the same material. So I'm going to put it one at gypsum. And then I believe this one. And if we want to, we could have this and then maybe cross that out. But I believe having this one with that design is good enough. So with this one, um, the exterior wall material that we have is brick common and then I want my I want to create another exterior wall but this one will have a different finish so maybe something that we haven't used uh, the stone material maybe rubble for now and that will be going to so here I'm going to select all the exterior and I'm going to choose ball number two that will give me a different materials to add on that side The way that looks is really good. I'm happy with the zigzag look that we created right here. Um, let's go to south elevation. Um, we need to add another level. So the difference between copying and then adding a grid uh, or adding a level manually is that if you add it um, like this one, that's like this way what will happen is it will instantly create the level that you have but this we need to put it at ground this will be our ground floor I choose corresponding so that it's the same one and then I just want it to be hilltop so just a little bit inclined not hilltop but I want a nice um, walkway right here and then we're going to have that one so our floor or ground will be right here we need to create steps and then we have grass around here so that's the way I'm gonna do it um, in the ground we have our building right here so I'm going to have the parking lot at the maybe front of this parking lot in front and then we will have that design right there 
So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.